Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Waking Me 32 LED solar landscape spotlights. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not viewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase some of these, I'll put a link to them in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So we have stakes. These are the pivots, anchors. This looks like an adjustment screw, another adjustment screw, third one. Here's one of the lights, the second light. So this comes with two lights and we have the user manual. So these have a solar cell to charge them and they have a battery inside. It's a lithium ion battery. So if you have any cheap landscape lights that are solar powered, they might have a tiny little solar panel and they might have a nickel cadmium battery in them. This is an order of magnitude higher end of a system. This has a larger solar panel, a higher quality battery, a more energy dense battery, and it has more LEDs. So these are a legitimate replacement for 120 volt lights or low voltage lights. So long as you have good sunlight that can reach the solar panel. So it says waterproof, frost resistant, and heat resistant. So these turn on and off automatically when it gets dark out. The solar panel is 5.5 volts at 1.3 watts, has 32 LEDs. The working temperature is minus 5 degrees C to 60 degrees C or 23 F to 140 degrees F. The material housing is ABS and polycarbonate. It says induction mode is light control. So I think that means it has a light sensor. Illumination angle is 150 degrees. It comes with two spotlights, two plastic anchors, two screws, and a user manual. So to put these together, we take one of the screws. So it does look like this just came with an extra screw. And this can go in between here. You can see there's a little cutout for the nut. Looks like it came with two nuts, at least in this one package. Nope, they all did. So I'll put a nut in there. I'll slide this in. So I'll put the screw through here. I'll put the nut on the back side. And then you can position this at a certain angle and tighten it down. So you may not want to put those on right away. We'll get to the next section here. There are two ways you can install these. You can put these in the ground or mount them on a wall. So you can put the stake in here and you can mount these in the ground. Now these are plastic stakes. So if you have really hard ground, you want to be careful you don't break your plastic stakes. So you might want to moisten the ground. You could even take a cheap plastic tent stake, stake it in the ground, pull it out, and that would leave room for this to go in. And if you break the tent stake, at least you didn't break this. The other option is wall mount. So it has two screws here and that's why you wouldn't want to put these on yet. You might want to mount this to the surface first and then mount the light and you would screw these to the surface. It does come with anchors here and screws. So if you were to mount these, you would want to make sure the solar panel has access to the sun. So if you're staking them in the ground or mounting them on a wall, like say you're mounting these down, you could have this facing the sun. The sun will charge this during the day and at night it will trigger and light up your path. So I will be staking these down. So these could light up a pathway. You could also use them to light up holiday decorations, landscaping, things like that. So there's a button on the bottom to turn it on. It says the default mode is off. So it has three modes, low, medium, and high. On low mode, it will run for 25 hours on full charge. Medium will run for 15, and high it will run for eight. So I would try running the lowest mode to start and then up it if you need more light. Because depending on varying conditions, like if it's cloudy, it may not charge as effectively. So if you don't need high, you're better off using a low mode. But if you do need high, definitely use the high mode. And then it has the off mode. So it says it's recommended you turn the light off and charge it under direct sunlight for one to two days before first use. Make sure the product has enough power. So let's see if I can trigger this and turn it on. Okay, so I just clicked it and it did flash. Let's see if I turn off the lights in the room if it'll turn on. It looks like that was enough to trigger it. Let's try the different modes. So that looks brighter and that's the brightest. And that's off. So that's low, medium, high, off. So even on the low, there's a fair amount of light. Like I was saying, try it on the low mode and then move up if you need more light. So I'm going to get the other one put together. I'll go install these outside and I'll let them charge up. Then I'll shoot some video of them outside at night. Okay, so it's nighttime. There's a full moon tonight, so it's not pitch black out, but the lights have activated. So this is shining on my sidewalk and this is on the low setting. This is the medium. and this is the high. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just illuminating the sidewalk so people can see so they don't trip and things like that. And I think it's perfectly adequate on the low mode. So if you're using this as a light to shine on some plants or some artwork or something like that, then you may want the higher settings. In my case, I'm fine like this. And here's the second light. So I did put this back from the sidewalk away so someone doesn't accidentally kick it. And here's the first one again. So I did put these out here around two o'clock and it's probably around seven o'clock right now. 
So they haven't been charging all day. I think they were in the direct sunlight for a little while. So I'll see tomorrow morning if they're still on. So that's the Waken Me LED Solar Landscape Spotlights. So I think this is a really nice option if you want to add some lighting to your landscaping. This has a good size solar panel on it, lithium ion battery and LED lights. So you get a really bright light out of it. So I don't think you're really compromising anything by going with these solar lights over actual wired lights. And a big advantage of these over wired lights is these are super cheap to install. You essentially buy these and press them into the ground. If you were to get them wired in lights, if you don't do it yourself, you'd have to hire an electrician that would cost a lot of money. And that would just be for labor, you'd still have to buy the equipment. So I had these marking my pathway, but these would also work great for decorations, for landscaping. You could point these at shrubbery. You could point these at a sign. There are lots of uses for these. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.